Welcome back to another week at the middle school. Uh, I just realized I always look at the red dot on this side of my screen and not the camera on this side of my screen. How about that? All right, this week on Monday we have MSLT after school. On Tuesday night, uh, PTO meets. And on Thursday, PBIS team has a meeting after school. And Friday night, getting ready for deer hunting. And Saturday morning is the deer opener. Hence the face warmer uh, that's starting to grow. All right. Okay. Also on Wednesday this week, I'm going to be taking part in um, an advocacy thing at the state level. I'm really excited about this. It's new territory for me, so I'm a little nervous too. Um, I am part of uh, ASA, the Association of Wisconsin School Administrators. I'm on the board this year. Um, we are doing a uh, press release on Wednesday um, and uh, really all it is, if, if I were to show everybody what that press release is, which I can show you um, anytime, it is just very good educational practice. It's, it's all the things that if I put it in front of all of you, you would say, duh, that's good teaching. Um, but not everybody in the state really believes that or understands that. So um, we're taking a big step forward and doing some advocacy. Um, at the state level so really excited about that so I'll be out for a few hours on Wednesday um, in Madison taking care of that all right on Monday after school we have MSLT uh, we as you know our goal across the school is to um, close gaps in reading math um, behavior and school connectedness with students um, MSLT is going to help finalize um, the action plan for that on Monday and then we'll share that draft out with you um, to get some feedback and input on that as well. Um, and then just a reminder though that that is a school-wide action plan that isn't all um, just one SLO. Uh, my SLO um, that I'm putting forward for this year is focused on behavior. Um, it's been a big focus across the board this year. Um, that's something that uh, Dana, Bill and I have been working on real closely. So we decided to have our SLO focus on behavior um, with PBIS and so on. Um, so more on that will come out to you um, very soon. Thanks, thanks for those of you, or thanks to those of you um, that replied to the email about um, having a second staff meeting again, um, focused on um, issues, questions, whatever. Uh, when I put that out there, um, honestly, I was expecting probably a little bit more one-sided results. Um, the people that responded, I've got really quite mixed reviews. Uh, some people are saying, absolutely, let's um, use that second staff meeting for this. Got others saying absolutely not. Let's let's not do that. Um, and then some are having different ideas and so on to put out there. So clearly we need to have more discussion on what the best result is or best answer is for that. Um, so be ready for more um, interaction on that. Again, whether it's at the team meeting level or um, a listening session or whatever it might be. All right, last but not least, I have a very important question for you. Um, some of you know that that some friends and I um, are in a band. Um, our band has changed names a few times. We started with Uncommon Core, uh, but then we're all in education in some way or another. Uh, we started with Uncommon Core and um, we changed our lineup a little bit, so we decided not to stick with that game. Uh, we played around with RTI Speedwagon, um, but we figured that was a little bit on the lame side. Um, we toyed around with Act 11, but we figured that might be a little too political for people. Um, and right now, as of this week, we are best practice, which we haven't even had a good practice yet, so I'm not sure if best practice is the right name for us. Um, but I am wondering if anybody has any really cool band names that would be um, appropriate for um, a band full of administrator, middle school um, mid administrators and teachers um, from around the area. Um, and along those lines, we've got a couple gigs lined up in January and February. Pretty excited about that. They're kind of top secret because we're not very good. <laughs> um, but after that, we do plan on having um, some more kind of public gigs. Um, I don't know, free autographs for anybody that actually shows up, I guess. Um, but anyway, if you have any cool band names that would be kind of funny and kind of educational, we're a variety band, play everything from country to hard rock. Um, but let me know if you have any ideas. All right, thanks everyone. Have a great week. I'll see you in the hallways.